What's up, everybody? It's Brandon, and I'm back with another knee-jerk reaction review. Maybe the most important one I've done yet, and that is on Dexter. Dark Passenger returned, and we got a whole season. I was covering these episode by episode for the longest time, but you know, sometimes life gets in the way. But of course, as Jeff Goldblum says, life finds a way. So I had to come back and give you basically my recap. But at the end of the day, we're really going to focus on that final spoiler review. This is a tough one for me, man. It is so hard for me to do this. I wanted to release this like right after I watched it because I watched it Saturday night. But I was like, I'm just not ready to fully gather and formulate my thoughts. This is my favorite show ever. You bring it back, and then you hit me with, like, better or worse. Some people like the ending. I'm seeing most did not. With just a club over my head, I'm not ready to talk about it. Now, it would help the channel the earlier I get it out, but as a big fan, I had to make sure that all my thoughts were in place, everything was formulated correctly. And I got to tell you, I still don't know if it is, but I'm going to try to express this out loud for the first time the best way I can. Okay, season as a whole. I really love the opening episode. I love the slow build. And then you have, you know, the ending where he finally becomes Dexter Morgan, which sets the tone for the whole show as uh, Clancy Brown's character, Kurt, ends up coming into the fold as the new killer. Also, Clancy Brown, amazing as the bad guy, one of the top tier bad guys in the series. The overall feel is definitely different than Miami, but it's kind of supposed to be. Obviously, this is a completely different type of place that Dexter went, and for good reason, for a completely change of scenery, a complete change of scenery and change of pace. Um, other than that, all the episodes in between that to the last three episodes, I thought were good, but weren't quite all that great, but enough to keep me going, and I was really ready for a hectic finale or a hectic final stretch. And I got that in episode eight. Episode eight, where he was being hunted and all that, and then him trying to get back to Harrison. That was intense, and that was so fucking well done. Even the stuff without, you know, Dexter, when it was just Harrison with Clancy Brown's character, Kurt, it was just very cool watching the cat and mouse game kind of play out where he was kind of like, you know, putting the arm, like, you, there's a shoulder you can cry on. Like, if I was your dad, just kind of suckering, suckering him in and watching him play that type of character, it was very interesting to me, knowing in the all too well what he was really setting up, and Dexter's just on this fucking race against the clock to try to get away from this one dickhead that Clancy Brown hired, Kurt, of course, who I'm talking about, just so he can get back to Harrison and save him. That was great. And then... The episode before the last episode, I thought was great. Top-notch stuff, I think, where he was just having to basically, you know, do what Dexter always does before we set up the final episode, take out that main villain. And him sharing that moment with Harrison was weird, but also, like, kind of cool in a way to just see Dexter be able to share that moment with someone else, as we saw very few times before of course miguel you know the ice truck killer his brother biney brian like all you know there's glimpses or at least kind of moments like that but it's very few far in between for dexter to kind of have a playmate in that situation for him to trust his son with that was almost kind of weird but that goes into a little bit of the later talk but also kind of like different and cool in a way like and it just like wow like are we really gonna have this passing of the torch teach the code to harrison thing and then that leads us to the final episode this episode for the most time is like okay it's good not too bad but what is this going to be exactly how is this gonna go well we now know it's almost like they took the original ending and they're like, well, we can have Dexter go away, which is what they did in the original ending, which everybody hated. Or we can have him get caught. Haven't done that yet, obviously, because we have one ending. Or we can have him killed. Haven't done that yet, obviously, because we only have one ending. So it's almost like they're like, we can't have him go away, so why don't we just do the other two options in one? Does that work, though? Not necessarily. I mean, Dexter getting caught. The... Let me just go ahead and say, it. this ending is problematic to me, and I do not like it at all. I'm on that side of the fence. 
But before you're like, oh, you're just like the rest. I'm not like the rest. I'm the type of person I can definitely give a controversial opinion. Here's one heads up. I have always loved the original end to Dexter. Yes, I said it. Throw stones at me. I have always thought that it was the perfect ending for him. A lot of what people thought about the first four seasons were like, oh, great writing. He always was covering his tracks. And that led to horrible writing in five, six, seven, eight. He wasn't as sharp. I don't necessarily think was bad writing. I think it was the, you know, the second half of the show. That doesn't mean there wasn't bad writing in there. I prefer the first four seasons as well, almost across the board. But five, six, seven, and eight, I think most of what happens when Dexter got sloppy, got chalked up to bad writing, and he's not the same character. Whereas for me, at least, maybe they lucked into that, or at least lucked in that for like my point of view. I always like took it as like Dexter is actually battling some type of emotions. The more he turns from this ice cold killer that, you know, offs these bad guys into having more of a conscience or at least some semblance of a conscience to where you can almost tie that word to him. Not quite, because he's not like us entirely, but he's like in that like tiny percentile range of an actual human being and not just made up of skin that looks like one. You know what I mean? Not this lizard on ice, as Doke would say. Dokes would say. He He actually became someone who had feelings to some degree, not full-on compassion or empathy necessarily, but he became someone that began to understand the idea of feelings and maybe even felt feelings to some degree, especially with Deb at the end there. And watching the way this closed and him realizing, man, like, this is on me. Like, anybody I come into contact with I hurt and making that decision of being this ice cold killer to where you could almost say, even though he's out helping people, as they even talked about in this finale, is it really just something to mask the fact that he is a stone cold killer at the end of the day? There is an element of that there and it makes you wonder. But deep down, you're like, I think Dexter legitimately does care about innocent people to some degree, or at least the idea of it because that was ingrained in him at such a young age. And watching him develop into this person to finally like see Deb get shot and realizing he just is not the right person to be in anybody's life or anybody's life that he even has a semblance of a care for was a good choice to me. To send him away, to send Harrison away, and to just go away. And then the shock factor of like thinking, okay, Deb's all right. You can leave the hospital, and then it's that it's that everything's fine now. We're good. Deb's okay. There's no problem. And then to just be clobbered over the head, we're talking about the original ending now, where Deb is actually not good because Quinn is fucking tearing up, and he's like, it's Deb, and it's like, it wasn't just like, oh, my God, Deb's not going to be okay. They teased us with she was going to be okay, and then an unexpected turn for the worst happens, and it's just like you got hit in the head with a fucking sledgehammer. The emotional wreck that that is, and for him to recognize, like, my sister didn't want to fucking live through, like, a feeding tube as a potato and the music that plays there, and for him to drop Deb's bodies, I've seen some people say, Oh my God, he dropped her body where he drops all the people he killed. That was never that way. For me, it was like symbolic. It was like, this is the last straw. I can't do this anymore. And now I wouldn't have mind if he died in the hurricane in that way. That would have been fine for me. But the fact that he lived afterwards and instead of, you know, having him be caught like and put in prison in shackles. Who wants to see Dexter in shackles, really? Ask yourself that at the end of the day. Maybe you like talk over it real quick, but if you actually imagined it and thought about how you feel about it, at least for me, I don't want to see that, man. I don't like seeing Dexter locked up. I like seeing him as the person that's manipulative, can get his way around things. He's just a fucking ace at every fucking step of the way of getting out of every situation. Seeing him caught, it almost like diminishes like a superpower he has. I don't like the thought of that. But I also understand like him being punished for his ways. So how do you kind of, you know, just 
fix that situation without taking away that proverbial superpower, as I just said. You make him, he makes himself go away to his own personal prison, his own version of hell. There's no murder out here. It's not sunny Miami. It's fucking this cold, regular nine to five job with no semblance of the life that he left behind left. And he's stuck there to grieve in the bad decisions he made, to wonder like what monster he was, to at least put that passenger at bay, to, like to some degree. That was the ending, and I loved that. I did. I loved every second of it. Now we get this ending. And this ending where we were kind of promised something here with Harrison, if we get that, let me just jump in and say that real quick. It won't make any fucking sense. It fully defeats the purpose of what happened. But let's not jump too far ahead. Dexter getting caught. It was kind of like a rush for a second. It's like, oh, man, like we're not used to it. Like, he's, man, dude, he, his time might be up here. But at the end of the day, when he's being questioned and he's not getting out of it, and next thing you know, he's in a cell, I don't, again, I'm harping on what they did in the first one where I think the first ending was correct. It's not right here. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like this would happen to the character. But more than anything... The original character was all about this build to becoming some semblance of human to at least realize his wrongs if they affected the ones he cared about the most and things to that nature. In this one, it's like he reverts back from that, tries to trick Harrison. It feels almost tricky. I know Harrison's got like something there for sure, but it almost feels like he's forcing it on him. The Dexter that I kind of ended with, where I had peace in my mind, was a Dexter that would be like, no, this isn't right for you. Or at least just like, there's no other way I'm going to have to do this for you, Harrison, because I can't have, I know what that's like. I hate that it had to come to this, but I can't have you out here just murdering people and I don't want you to go to prison you're my son I care about you I got to do it but it never really felt like that it felt like oh it could be this and I'm gonna make it that right away like it just it felt like he and you even saw when he found the knife there was a sense of excitement like ooh, I might have a friend I don't like that for Dexter I like Dexter making a difference now if he has to teach him the code that's fine but have him do it begrudgingly have Harrison like you know just like please dad show me just like you know, he's like begging him almost and fine because he admits what he is because that had to come to fruition. I mean, this is the final season of Dexter, right? You had to let him have that out. You couldn't leave that empty. That could have been interesting. But him just kind of being so willing and just wanting to do it. And he's like acting like we're going on adventures together. That is not the Dexter I was left with that I enjoyed for me personally. So that as it went on and I kind of pieced it all together at the end, I'm like, wow, like that's just going to be, you know, how he is. And then he's over here killing the one cop name escapes me just to get away like that. What I was left with before was him finding himself as a human being again, to some degree and him not being selfish. And this one, it's like, well, Sometimes your addictions will just win out. And I don't like that as an ending for Dexter over the other one. Now, of course, he had himself... Now we'll get to it. This is all spoilers, obviously. People put down by Harrison. And I get what they're doing. End it with the bloodline. But what doesn't make sense about it is that doesn't feel earned either. Like, they almost try to pass it off as just like, well, my anger actually comes from you leaving me. I'm not the psychopath. That's at least how I felt. I've only watched it once. But that's how I felt when I got done watching it. But this is a kid that fucking is breaking people's arms. He's like, again, getting baseballs in. He fucking almost killed the one fat kid by cutting him and all this other. It's like, and was like precise in doing so. Th there's something else there. This isn't just, I don't buy that it's just anger for Dexter leaving him. I'm buying 110% that there's something else in there even watching Dexter cut people up now you could tell it felt a little off like he was uncomfortable right but for him to even be able to make it out of that unfazed and then the next day like yeah let's go we can go away we're gonna get a pool right when Dexter is telling him we can go for him to even entertain that after that tells me there's something else there it it isn't it doesn't feel earned to me it doesn't like the what they I know what they were doing when they were doing all that like let's trick everybody thinking he's gonna be but actually we're ending it here I get that 
But as far as like narrative, it doesn't work. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel earned. None of this makes sense to me. And then Dexter dying at Harrison's hands. Again, I get it. But I'll tell you what, man. We didn't get to see Batista. Batista, we got to see him. He found out, which was like a heart punch for me. Because this is like something I put to bed 10 years ago. I was like, please do not like let Batista or anybody find out. Or at least was on edge to where I was like, is this going to happen? Is this going to happen? Is this going to happen? And then when it didn't happen, I was like, like at least a weight off my shoulders knowing that we can at least put that to bed. That'll never happen. And then like a fucking thief in the night, it pulled me fucking back in. And it's like, oh, shit. Like, fucking Batista just found out about Dexter. And that is like an uneven feeling for me. I don't know how I feel about that. But if you're going to have him fucking find out, like, it was kind of odd knowing that he's on his way from Miami that he never got involved in some way. Like, there's part of me that wishes, like, you know, I kind of wanted an emotional ending all the way around that, like, if Dexter did, in fact, die... Maybe he does have that standoff with Harrison, but Harrison's like, I can't do it. And then we have that pause for a second. And, you know, they, like Dexter lets out like a, you know, like, oh, thank God. And as that happens, you hear a gunshot. And then maybe Angela killed him from behind. Just like, I wouldn't like that either, per se. But that would add another shock factor, because right as you're like, like the original ending where you're like, everything's fine now. Oh, no, it isn't. You're like, okay, Harrison, put the gun down. Oh, no, not everything's fine. Or Batista, even, if they did some shit like that. But I don't think that would be quite earned. I don't think any of it was, was very earned. But, you know, I'm trying to find another way around it where you can kill him. I just, it's going to be hard for me, too, to, like, go back and watch the original series. And the whole time, I'm like, that little kid right there that he loves and is helping him become more of a person. And then by the end of it, I can be like, Dexter, you know, well, I know how it ends now, like, does come out on the other end, at least to some degree, realize, and he hurts everything he touches. Now I'm going to have to look at it like Dexter's going to actually find a way to not really go that direction. He's going to now, in a added season, start to be this guy that gets into, like, yeah, Harrison, stick with me. I'm this fucking, you know, not quite evil person, but I got to reopen all these killings. And then also I might have to kill somebody just for the fucking sake of being free because, you know, it's about me, 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 me. And also you're going to be the one that kills me to stop this madness. I don't like all that. And it's a little surprising that they hyped this up for it to be Such a controversial ending. Now, I can see people liking it, and I won't even hate on you if you do, but it seemed like they were so like, we got this right this time. And normally, if you're like, we got this right this time, and you know they're coming back from a show where, not me, obviously, I'm fucking, I'm gratified with the original ending, but 90% of people did not like the original ending. You'd think they would just like, it have one of those ones where it's like, you know, this ain't controversial, like, I think this is a home run. This one, you should have at least known, like, this is probably going to divide some people. You kill your fucking central character. That's going to happen. So I'm a little surprised with that. And then also, I hated how the director or whatever gave an announcement. He was like, yeah, Dexter, coming back. Or not coming back. (laughs) My bad. That's how much my brain was on that. Uh, he was like, I got a, a surprise on Monday. I'm going to post. And everybody immediately, like, you know, it's almost like the Dexter community without even person even being there. It's like they looked over like, you know what that means? Shit. Dexter's New Blood Season 2. Or, I don't know, Harrison. Even if Dexter dies, we have Harrison. And mind you, when Dexter did die, it was immediately like, if this motherfucker says we're going to have a Harrison show, after this it'll make the ending even worse because he's basically putting him down like he's a fucking rabid dog that needs to be put down (laughs) and then he's like i'm putting an end to this murder spree and then we're gonna come back a year later and it's like new season of harrison where he's doing the same shit dexter's doing you're like oh so we killed dexter for no reason that's great Uh, you know, that started all this. So I was like, Jesus, don't even announce that. Don't do that. Do not do that. But to make it even dumber, though, it was like, this will be coming to Blu-ray and DVD. It's like, 
no shit. Like, how could you fucking... You know what people are talking about. Do you not have a pulse on what's happening out there? Like, you know what everybody would have thought when you'd say that, and then you come out with something that's not even special news. I knew this was going to come out on DVD and Blu-ray. Bro, damn. Yeah, there's a lot of frustrations around this, and there's a lot of, like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, is it over? It's over. Like, I have, like, friends that are big fans, too, and other people I've seen, like, well, maybe this, I'm like, no, bro, like, it's over. And it's one of those things, too, if it comes back again, it's either going to be like, really, that's the explanation, or they somehow come up with a decent explanation, even like bled right the fuck out of his chest and bled everywhere, you know? It was a dream. Doesn't matter. It's going to feel cheap. It's like, oh, so here comes the third ending. Yeah, it's, you're going to have that. You can redo an ending and say, we got a new season. It's actually not over. And you're like, okay, it's interesting. You do it again, and it's like, I know we fucked up twice, but let's bring it. It's not going to have the same feel. I, I wish your Dark Passenger was back, Dexter. But to some degree, man. I don't know, guys. This one hurt my feelings, and I think it changed the way I'm going to watch the show from here on out but all you people that hated uh season eight i hope you're happy you got you know the other two options you got locked up and murdered like come on man. maybe I'm, I'm partly joking but maybe this will help people appreciate the ending to season eight a little more because to me it's not even close it's far superior and you could have killed dexter but not in this way like i said you could have killed dexter in the hurricane that's fine too but don't do this not this, please. I start crying. Yeah, and that was the worst part. I didn't even cry. Like, I was like, please don't shoot him. Oh, my God, they're going to shoot him. It was like mad. It wasn't tears, and I wanted that beautiful ending. I did get that in season eight, though. The, the upsettles. The upsettles. The upsetties. The upsettles. Making up words now. I don't know. What do you think, Chucky? Another red-headed murderous fuck. Yeah, I don't know, man. I wish there's more to say. I do want to comment on uh, Kurt's little, like, fucking, you know, what we found out he was doing with the women. It was, like, all on display, like they were mannequins. I thought that was wicked. I didn't see that coming. And, yeah, that that was probably the best part of the season. When that was discovered and Dexter's looking around and you're like, holy shit. And there was some other trepidation type of stuff. Trepidational, is that a fucking word? Trepidational, like, stuff where it was, like, wow in the scene that i can't fucking pinpoint right now but yeah i don't know man overall i'm let down it's my favorite show ever and i really want to eat end it at season eight next time i watch it but there was enough good stuff here where i'm like maybe i'll give it another shot but then probably be like game of thrones where i just know what's coming and it'll hurt me or i won't want to watch the next season maybe on another run through because i run through dexter all the time being a big fan and I'm a completist, so I'll be sitting there like, ah, I know there's more, so I gotta watch it. I don't know why I'm like this, people. Let me know what y'all thought of it. And yeah, man. Love you guys. I hope it met all of your biggest, brightest dreams. It was just okay to me. Season was really good. You know? Had ch opportunity to be like the fourth or fifth best season. And then at the end of it, as a whole, it's right near the bottom. And the ending, that's what hurts the most, man. For me, hope y'all loved it. Also, where's my fucking season eight original ending fans at? Don't find many of them, but let me know. Love y'all, man. It's been real, Dexter. Till we meet again.